Welcome to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be talking about the episode from season four, The Wing Walker. If you're enjoying these, please do like, subscribe, share. I so appreciate all of you watching and commenting. It means a lot to me to know that you are still enjoying the Walton so much and these little behind the scene tidbits that I'm sharing. In The Wing Walker, actress Lee Purcell played Bobby Strom and her pilot was none other than Tom Bauer, who of course you will recognize as coming back in season five as Doc Kurt Willard, who eventually married Mary Ellen. <laughs> so it was interesting to look back at this episode and see Tom playing a different character. All of the sequences with the airplane in this episode were shot in Fraser Park because we needed a long enough section with dirt for them to safely land the airplane, which of course we did not have on the back lot of the studio. So everyone, all the actors and the crew and everything went up there and we got to watch all of this wonderful aerial work that was being done. There's an unusual love triangle in this episode. Bobby Strom falls in love with John Boy, who does not reciprocate her feelings, leads her on a little bit and later has to own up to that and make that right. Whereas Jim Bob, who has always been fascinated by aviation and airplanes and wanted to fly, falls head over heels for Bobby. He's the one who has been bringing her roses that she thinks are coming from John Boy. Meanwhile, uh, Bobby is devastated when she expresses her feelings of love to John Boy and John Boy, she instantly knows does not feel the same way and she is just humiliated and, and runs off. Later on, all of it comes to light and Bobby is very sweet with Jim Bob about when he comes to confess that he indeed was the one who gave her the roses. In an earlier segment, I talked about suitcases and how often they don't look real because the way that an actor carries them makes them look like they are empty, which in fact they usually are. In this case, here's an example of Richard making this suitcase of Bobby's look very heavy. I don't know if it really was or not, but it sure looks like it was. Another thing that stood out to me in this episode was that this was the episode where Maud gave Myrtle her goat to the Waltons for us to take care of. And at one point you see Ben milking Myrtle and he actually is milking that goat. Uh, most of us had no clue how to milk cows, goats, anything. And we learned on the Waltons, whether it was cows or goats or whatever. So here Ben's doing an admirable job, in my opinion. Lee Purcell joins us to talk about some of her memories about shooting the wing walker, working with Richard, working with Ralph, and doing those amazing wing walk stunts. Here's Lee Purcell. Hello, fellow fans of the Waltons. I'm Lee Purcell. Some of you may know me as the death-defying Bobby Strom, a.k.a. the Wing Walker. My good friend, Judy Norton, asked me if I would tell a few stories about the behind the scenes in my episode of The Waltons. So when I was asked to do The Waltons to play Bobby Strom, I was very pleased because obviously it was The Waltons. It was iconic. It was a wonderful show. But also, there were two people on the show that I had already worked with. And one was Ralph Waite. I had done um, a feature film for Fox called Kid Blue with Ralph. The other was Richard Thomas. And we had done, uh, both very early in our careers, we had done an episode of Bonanza together. So I was very excited uh, to be able to see these two people again, whom I really, really liked very much and love working with. And then also to meet the rest of the cast who were fantastic. So one of the great things about being an actress is the people you meet and the people that you get to work with and the people that you form lifelong friendships with. And that is, uh, to me, the biggest, the biggest treasure, the biggest takeaway. And of course, one of them was Judy, Judy Norton. And we just hit it off. We just hit it off immediately. And we became lifelong friends. And we have been in each other's lives ever since then. 
And a funny little story is that Judy and I um, actually were roommates for several years, uh, for a few weeks every summer. And um, so we got, you know, you get to know a person really, really well when you brush your teeth with them. So uh, we, uh, and we survived it. It was great. This is a behind the scenes look at my episode of The Waltons, The Wing Walker. I'm now going to tell you a secret. Don't tell anybody. But you know how you see Bobby Strom and she's walking on the wing of the airplane that's really far away? Well, many people have said to me, oh, you were so brave to have done that. And so now I'm going to burst a few bubbles. It wasn't me. You know, not at a distance. It wasn't me. It was a professional stunt person doing that at a great distance. Now, when you saw Bobby Strom closer, like say head, you know, head to toe, uh, waist to head, or even like a close up, that was me. However, the plane was on the ground. Now they had these huge wind machines that were just pushing, pushing at me. I was on the plane, I was on, I was in the cockpit with Tom, climbing all over the plane and standing up on the wing and then for the grand finale with the two flags where she's doing the very dangerous stunt. Um, I was on the top, on the top wing doing that, but the plane was on the ground. And what I was concerned about was that the wind machines, which were very powerful, would push me off the plane and I would end up on the ground, which was pretty far down because the top of the plane, it's pretty far, I don't know, 15, 20 feet. Um, I was very, very careful, but I was a dancer, so I was really agile and, and I could climb and I could do those kind of things, but only on the ground. So there's a scene in the living room where Bobby is explaining to Jim Bob using his toy airplane and to the family about how flying works, how the plane works, how it stays in the air. And it was a very technical scene. It was very specific. And the scene was really easy for me because I had been to ground school several years before. And ground school is the school when you're learning to fly. Uh, it's on the ground, it's not in the air. And that's why it's called ground school. And ground school is where you learn the, the physics and the math and and the intricacies of of flying. So uh, that scene in the living room, even though it was highly, highly technical, uh, was really uh, in my wheelhouse. It was very easy for me. So that's another little behind the scenes story. I want to thank Judy for inviting me to share some stories behind the scenes of my episode, The Wing Walker. And I want to thank all of you for being such great fans and friends of The Waltons end of the Wing Walker episode. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I love hearing from all of you. I'm not sure how many of you know this, but I actually did some real life wing walking for the show Circus of the Stars, where they have various different celebrities perform circus stunts. I was approached about doing a combination stunt that involved wing walking and skydiving. And so they trained me to do both. Stunt pilot Art Scholl, who did a lot of work for different films and TV, was my pilot. Here you see him checking on the equipment. The whole concept of the stunt was that they would fly aerobatics with me up on the wing and then they would invert the plane and I would fall off. So that's why they had to teach me to skydive so that I could make a safe landing. When we went to film the stunt, it was not safe conditions under which to skydive or, or be under a parachute. They ran out of time and they decided to postpone the stunt until the following year. When it came time to do the next Circus of the Stars, they had decided not to do the stunt. So by that time, I was still doing a lot of skydiving, uh, but they scrubbed the stunt and they had me do flying trapeze instead. <laughs> so there's my wing walk story. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons about the wing walker. Thank you to Lee for coming and sharing her memories of the wing walker. I will be back with more Behind the Scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.